Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Command. I'm Ruben and today we're going to be sending our shuttle to orbit. We'll be taking this experimental plane to orbit. Before we launch, make sure your tanks are full and I like to disable roll on this inner elevon. And we're going to give our new shuttle a name. Like the real first shuttle, I named it Enterprise. Here we are on the launch pad. We're going to control the shuttle from the probe core we put in the back. Unfortunately, the real Space Shuttle Enterprise never went to space. It was used for approach and landing tests. Enterprise was going to be refit for spaceflight, but it turned out it was going to be too costly. So instead, another shuttle was built. We're going to be using the FMRS mod today to recover our rocket boosters and our external tank. This mod will allow us to jump back in time to the point where we decoupled the rocket boosters and the external tank. As I said last time, I like to launch so that the external tank will end up on top. One benefit of this is that I can use the pitch control almost exclusively during the ascent. For the descent, I've come up with a way to where I don't have to touch the flight controls until we're ready to land. I try to keep our speed below the mock effects. And as we ascend, I start to pull over a little more, and then I like to watch the apoapsis grow. I would like the apoapsis to just be in space when we run out of fuel in the external tank. I try and get an idea for how fast the apoapsis is growing, and if it's growing too quickly, I start to pull over more. Remember, our cockpit isn't in line with our thrust. I'm trying to get the thrust on the nav ball's horizon. And once we're at Apoapsis, we'll use our secondary engines to circularize our orbit. And remember, our probe core is at 15 degrees, and so are our secondary engines. Once we're in orbit, we can now go back and recover our boosters and our external tank. Thank you. 
Once we've recovered our parts, we can now send Jebediah off in the experimental plane, and then we're ready to return home. When we're in position, we'll do our deorbit burn. I ended up landing this with a lot of fuel still, but if you want to get rid of your fuel, you can wait longer to do your deorbit burn. You'll come in steeper, but the shuttle can handle it. You can put your angle of attack into the trajectories mod. I would never use this though. In the atmosphere, I would use the pitch control to move our trajectory out farther or bring it back closer, and by doing this, I would almost always be able to get back to the runway. Since we're controlling from our probe core and our probe core was rotated 15 degrees, our whole shuttle is nosing up. The trajectories mod takes this into account and it shows us our glide profile, and it turns out to be pretty accurate. The Kerbals are going to hold the shuttle prograde relative to the probe core, so now I'm not going to touch the flight controls until we're near the space center. Alright Kerbals, you've got the ball. Don't crash this shuttle.
And I have the ball now. I'm going to bring us in for a landing. Good job, Kerbals. When landing the shuttle, you want to keep your speed up so you don't hit the runway too hard. I really enjoy landing these shuttles, so you get an extra landing. In the next video, we'll build our experimental plane and we'll fly it back from space. And now that we have a good shuttle, we can finish building our space station. I've also come up with some ideas I like for Minma Space. The problem I have now is how am I going to get these big parts into orbit. I could do it easily with a disposable rocket, but I really want something reusable. I've also been thinking of making a video about how to calculate transfer windows. And that's it for today. I hope you liked the video and we'll see you next time.